Classes are back in Battlefield for the first time since 2042 released. And I have to tell you, in the limited time I've played it so far, I do like how it's changing gameplay. It's subtle so far, but it does seem to be creating a slightly more team-oriented experience here. Is this the start of the revitalization of this game? Let's take a dive into Battlefield. Ooh! You know, maybe it's just a placebo effect, but in the last few days since I've played Battlefield and since the new class system has been implemented into this game, I've noticed something kind of interesting. More than I can really ever recall, I'm seeing this, and what this is, is my squad and I playing together. Now, is this a direct result of classes being added back in? I really couldn't say that for sure, and, and maybe it's just coincidence. It also might be that I prefer to play Rush, and Rush is, by its very nature, a more team play oriented game mode. But I'm curious to know if any of you have noticed a little more cohesion, at least, in the way that your squads are playing. And this is particularly to do when you're playing with people you don't know. Obviously, if you're playing with your friends, you're going to be either talking to each other and playing with each other, so it's natural to assume you'd be traveling together. But one of the things that became less and less common, and especially in this game particularly, that I absolutely was incredibly disappointed uh, to have to find out was that players were just less interested in playing with their squad mates and maybe part of that was because specialists provided everyone an opportunity to be unique and stand out on their own and do their own fun things and while that is really cool and a lot of times it really was cool there was something missing about the overall full experience of this game and what battlefield always has been now, there has certainly been some blowback to the idea that classes were added by players who either got used to the idea of playing as specialists with no real specialized function other than their tools uh, within a squad, or players who maybe came to Battlefield as new players and never really played the original series much, if at all. And with that said, there's going to be some learning curve for everybody, even people who have played Battlefield since 1942. There's going to be a learning curve using the class system with these characters because they are just that. They're characters that still do have spe specializations outside of the tools that are being given to them within their own class structure. But ultimately going forward, whether you like this right now or not, I think you have to see that this might be what they should have done originally and what they needed to do all along. I have definitely heard the argument that this is too late, they should have kept it the way it was because players got used to doing what essentially they put in front of them. And while I do understand that completely, you're not wrong if that's how you feel because that's totally true. And they have definitely created another game to essentially start learning to play to some extent. This game is still ultimately the same thing. It just has some specific things you're going to have to learn now about gameplay as opposed to character play. Maybe it's not learning and maybe it's just remembering. That's another thing. I think that some of us who maybe felt like this wasn't a good move because we got used to it and we started feeling like we, you know, changed and adjusted to the game style. I think we might also, some of those people, some of us here might find that we actually do like this. Of course, it's not all good. Just like a lot of major updates with this game have introduced, bugs have now crept in again. New bugs. Uh, every time, at least that I have left a vehicle playing the assault class. I'm injecting myself with my med pen even if I don't need it, which means now I don't have it. So that's one thing they have to address. I've also noticed that aiming feels a little sluggish again and where it was at a really great place, if you're playing in mouse and keyboard at least, uh, it was at a wonderful place before this update. It feels like it's maybe taking a step back. I'd love to know what you think about that if you guys play in mouse and keyboard. As far as the controller, uh, settings are concerned. I'm going to need to jump into that and dive in a little bit more and see 
how those feel. Um, I had done some settings videos in the past of this game, a couple that I think looked like helped a lot of people, uh, but I, I'm going to need to revisit that now because um, if the mouse and keyboard input feel like they've been slightly overwhelmed, potentially, uh, that might be the case with the controller as well, and there may be some new things to, uh, to look at there. Go ahead and drop some comments in the section below. Let me know what your experience has been like playing with the new classes. Does this game feel different? Does it feel better? Does it feel worse? Is it the same? I want to know what you think. As always, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider liking it. Maybe subscribing to the channel today if you haven't already. We'll see you later on. Have a great week.